In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are called to become a perfect creation. No one is called to become who you are called to be. It does not matter whether you are short or tall, whether you sparkle with life, or are as still, silent as a still pool. It does not matter whether you sing your song aloud, or weep alone in the darkness. It does not matter whether you feel loved and admired or unloved and alone, for you are called to become perfect creation. No one's shadow should cloud your becoming. No one's light should dispel your spark. For God delights in you, jealously looks upon you, and encourages with gentle joy every movement of the spirit with you. Unique and loved you stand, never without hope and life for you are called to become a perfect creation. This becoming may be gentle or harsh, but it never ceases, never pauses or hesitates, only is creative force calling you, calling you to become a perfect creation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, CTK. Welcome to your morning announcements for Friday, June 4th. In an effort to honour and memorialise the 215 children whose bodies were discovered on the grounds of Kamloops Indian Residential School, as well as the thousands of other children who died at the hands of residential schools, we would like to line our school with support. We're asking students in our school community to find a rock and paint it in honour of those lost lives. You can design it in any way you choose. Paint it a colour, draw a design, write a phrase, sign your name, just make sure it's your way of respectfully paying tribute. Once you have painted your rock, drop it off by the bench at the side of the school on Friday afternoon, anytime after 12. If you can't drop your rock off on Friday afternoon, please feel free to leave it there this weekend. Student Council will collect and count all rocks that are brought in, and we will donate $2 for every painted rock up to $1,000 to Legacy of Hope an organization that helps to support residential school survivors. June is National Indigenous Month. Help us to remember that every child matters. Today is the final day of our virtual food drive. Poverty is never inevitable. Canada has the resources to end poverty. We need charity, people willing to give money to food banks and to donate to many charities. We need justice people willing to look out for the common good, to be on the side of the poor and vulnerable, to not only focus on how I am doing, but on how we are doing. Today's resources are a report called Setting the Ch Stage for Poverty-Free Canada and a short YouTube video on what it means to be a person of justice. Remember to support our virtual food drive through Cash Online. Catholic schools should consciously create an environment where students who feel marginalized, rejected, or vulnerable can experience a safe, nurturing, inclusive, inclusive community of faith. What does it mean to be marginalized? It can mean hearing homophobic slurs in your classroom, in your school clubs, in your home, having to hide your identity as a 2SLGBTQ plus person, not being able to be your true and authentic self, even sometimes in your own family. Are we creating a safe space at CDK? Well, you can help by being an ally. Watch your words. Just don't use homophobic language. It's not okay. Speak up when others use these, these words. Challenge your assumptions and take time to learn about the history and contributions of two us LGBTQ plus people. And if you are looking for summer school this year, it's getting to that time of the year, registration is open. It's available on my blueprint under continuing education. Remember to treat each other with equity, dignity, and respect. Stay safe, have faith, and keep on smiling, CTK.